Okay, um, just a quick reminder, we're going to do today's press conference in two parts. We're going to quickly review tonight's game, and then we're going to move on to a preview section of Everton's game, which will have a 1.30 embargo. So we'll start with the preview today. Um, Nazar Kinsella, if you can unmute and away you go. Hi, Thomas. I just wanted to ask you about an unsung hero today. Andreas Christensen doesn't really get, um, you know, some type of credit he deserves, but I want to see, you know, how you feel about him and his performances of late and um, gives you a decision when Thiago Silva's fit as well, I guess. Well, Andreas stepped in in the middle of the first half against Tottenham, which was a pretty tough thing to do. And uh, from the first minute, he is... Um, absolutely impressive he is uh, he's brave he is uh, strong in uh, individual challenges he is um, very very uh, brave and intelligent in build up and uh, plays with a lot of confidence i'm absolutely happy uh, about his performance how he stepped up is a big part of our performances sam wallace Hello, Thomas. Um, just just on the overall picture, that's ten games, no defeats, and probably you know winning away at the Champions your biggest result yet. I mean, how would you how would you describe your first ten games and how happy you are with them? Super happy. I'm super happy. Um, I, if I'm very very honest, I still have a bit regrets about the about the draw in Southampton, where I was not happy. Uh, that we dropped the two points uh, and and the way how we dropped them, but in general I'm absolutely happy. I feel uh, from the first day like a really like a part of that club, and I feel uh, involved in uh, in the team and in, um, and it's a pleasure to to coach this team from the first minute because you can feel the energy, you can feel the attitude to all the things that are needed in a football game. They are ready to, to play as a team, to attack as a team, to defend, to sacrifice and to fight for each other. And uh, they are brave. We have a brave squad. They, uh, they show up in difficult games. They show up every four days. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of biggest win and, and toughest match because I never, I never judged games. I never did, as in my coaching career, because I'm happy for for every win that we get and for every result. And I know how hard it is in 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 any league and in any competition to 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 keep on winning and to to keep on defending and keeping clean sheets. So yes, I'm very very happy because I know what it takes. I know what the team team's input is in the moment. This is um, on on a high high level. And uh, for that, I'm very happy. Vinny O'Connor, Sky Sports News. Hi, Thomas. I just wondered then as well, what significance you put now on the fact that you've gone and beat Liverpool tonight and that moves you into the top four. So you've got something, something to protect now, the fact that you're in the top four now. Yeah, but we don't think this way. We have already been in the top four after our win, I think, uh, against Newcastle. And it, it, I never said it. Uh, and, and we cannot lose the focus by, by looking at the fixture all the time because it does not help. Um, the only thing that helps, even if it's boring for, for you, which I can understand, is to prepare every match uh, on the highest level because this league does not allow you to drop 1%. If you want to have results, if you want to, if we want to keep on going, we have to refocus again uh, towards towards Everton and nothing else, and the rest will take care of itself. Um, it is like that, and uh, there are still eleven ways, uh, eleven games to go. It's still a long, long way to go. Nothing is decided. We are in the race. We close the gap very, very quickly, which is a is a big effort. And now we are in the middle of the race, which. Uh, we now want to, and we need to to keep on going. Um, but this league, the competition in Champions League, the competition in FA Cup, that that drives us and that gives us no time to 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 lay back and to become too relaxed. And uh, I have a hungry group. I myself, I'm hungry, and uh, we're not finished. Okay, last one on tonight's review. Katie Shanahan, PLP. Hi, Thomas. I just want to speak about uh, Timo Werner. He spoke earlier this week about how it's been really tough not scoring since arriving at Chelsea with only one goal in 18 Premier League games. Obviously, he came close tonight. How are you managing 
him at the moment to make sure, you know, he picks himself up every week and keeps going again, especially ahead of Everton at the weekend. Nothing special. I demand 100% in every training. I uh, don't allow self, self, what is it, self pity? Yep. No, no, no need for self pity. He's a privileged guy. He's uh, full of talent and he, he plays uh, football in one of the best clubs in the world, in the best league in the world. So there's no need to, to, to be uh, in, in self pity and to worry too much. The only the only responsibility we have is to uh, together is to bring out the best in him, and that's the only way I know is on the training pitch and in the games. Put in your effort, uh, put yourself in a in a state of mind that you are ready uh, ready to play for us on the highest level. And and uh, is he is he doing this? Yes, he is. And then you will be rewarded. I'm very very sure. Um, today I'm absolutely happy with his performance was another step uh, up front and we are not counting the minutes. I know that in the end, the strikers the strikers count their minutes and they count their goals, which drives them. This is very, very important. But for me, and my approach to him is is, I, is not a subject. We push him, we we do this with a smile um, and and we, we try to give him confidence and 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 uh, and from there on, it's his it's his job to be to be on uh, to be a big part of this group, which he is in the moment. Okay, that's the end of today's review.